Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to extend the hardware digital output and input channel in Home Assistant. This is our power distribution box. You can see here it consists with the KC868 server that have 16 output and 6 channel input of switch, wall switch and 8 channel input of a sensor. But maybe your house is very big and this is only 16 channel is not enough for you to use. So we can extend your output, such as this time, we have this demo for A16 board that is also use the Ethernet cable and have the 16 channel output and the 16 channel input. Uh, this input can use for wall switch and this output can use for this relay board, uh, like this one, also can output. But this output have connect with a brick, uh, maybe have some protect some large current load. But this, I think you can connect with your cotton or small current uh, load. So without work is not uh, have a problem. That is OK. Uh, yeah. Just directly use this relay, connect with your load. OK, let's look at how to extend the hardware output and the input. There are two types of product you can choose. The first is a series board and the second is B service board. So A service board we have said, you can see here, that mainly is used by the ESP32. So you can see here is our 16 version, here is the six, six channel version and the 32 channel version, and this is for IR, and this is 16 channel version. This 16 channel version, we have used this, this version, have this version for example, integrate to the Home Assistant, and this is UR, and this is 8 channel version, and the 4 channel version. So there are many different channels you can choose the ESP32 board. And the second you can see here is B series board. The B series board, you can just click the really controller, and here is the server, that is this one, and this is uh, another, another model that is for 8 channel, ju just a different appearance. And this is 8 channel. And this is a H32 PS. And this is 2 channel, 4 channel, 8 channel, 16 channel, and 32 channel. So there are different uh, products you can integrate to the whole system. Uh, if you have integrated this A16, or you can integrate with H32B, or H16B uh, to this server, uh, always no problem, no limit how many will integrate to together. So you can integrate many, many, many bugs uh, to this server. So let's look at, uh, here is the second, uh, if this we have take example for A16 and integrate for home assistant by the ESP home. So that is configuration, we have configuration for you, you just copy and paste. And uh, the first step that, and the first uh, type of, of product that is used Home Assistant by ESP Home, and another is by the MQTT. So this is by the MQTT. This server has 16 channels. That is used by Kinkuni CPU that is integrated Home Assistant to Raspberry Pi by MQTT. So you can see here is the network cable that is for uh, this section. And here is the cable, that is for Raspberry Pi, that is CM4 inside. And here is the cable for A16 board. So also the A16 board can use for, for the Wi-Fi. But I think the Ethernet is more stable. So we choose and suggest to use the Ethernet firstly. So now we can go to the Home Assistant dashboard. You can see here is the 16 channel output and 8 channel input, that is for the server. But this time I will show you how to integrate the A16 board to the home assistant. So you can see, I can go to this ESP home. And here is the server. Because the server also have a ESP32 module inside that we have already in integrated with the home assistant. Now you can add the new device for A16. Continue. And the board is A16. And the next and based on the ESP32, and press next, and skip. And now you can see here is A16 board. We just click edit, and copy and just paste. 
so you can see we can just uh, copy copy this all code that is for configuration for 16 channel input and 16 channel output so we can delete all this one delete and paste and just the name we have choose A16 ok you can press save and install and this time you need to find a USB cable and you need to prepare this USB type C cable and one connect to here and this time uh, this USB uh, need to connect with this one so that will connect with the Raspberry Pi and we can click this section so this time we choose this one and now we'll begin to comply and download we just need to wait for a moment okay now it's download complete you can see many devices have been found and this initial okay we can click stop then you can see this A16 is online so now we can go to the configuration and go to the device and you will find this is a new icon have generate uh, we can click config and the submit and the bedroom finish and now you can click A16 you can see there are 32 entities the 32 entities uh, include the 16 channel input and the 16 channel output so this is output and this is the input now we just set this into our dashboard we can go to the dashboard and add dashboard and add a card and you can see entities that just uh, choose the output firstly A16 you can see A16 output output 1 this is output 1 and A16 output 2 so we can show this code edit that will be easy we can copy and paste just edit for 16 channel you can 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 and 16 ok you can see I have created the 16 channel you can see I can turn on one this is output one and this relay is on and off also you can see this LED state so this have integrate the output we can click save click edit we can the title we can define for A16 output so that will be easy to find which is for server and which is for A16 uh, this is for A16 board and this is for server so you can see I can turn off turn on turn off you can see here I can turn on relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, relay 4 turn off uh, so this is for A16 and also you can see I can turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on and turn off so this is uh, uh, this 16 channel so we have integrate the input and also we can integrate this uh, 16 channel input so we can add the dashboard and add a card and the entities at this time we can choose A16 input input 1 ok this is A16 input 2 and show code edit so that you can copy and paste that will be very fast uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 14, 
and the 15 and the 16. Okay, you can delete this one and the C. And now you can see here is a, a 16 channel input. Also, we can add the name A input and press save and press down. So here you can see we can int integrate the 16 channel input. That is for this one. You can connect with the wall switch or connect with your sensor. So that can monitor the state of the 16 channel digital input. Okay, you can see here we have integrated the output and integrated the input. So that you can use the server and you can use the A16 board as the output and the input results are together in Home Assistant. Okay, thanks for watching.